I was the camp counselor for the following week, and we were studying uh, water safety and water conservation. And because there's so much water here around Glen Rose, that seemed like a, a really uh, appropriate theme. As you can see, we had some uh, field trips. We got to go down to the new dam on the Paluxy River, and uh, Mr. Uh, Taylor explained how that worked. And we actually got to see that they, they actually turned on the pump system, and then we, we got to go up to the lake and see the new lake. And he told us about all the fish, and the kids were really fascinated by that. They're, they can hardly wait for that park to open. Hoobia, um, what I'm so excited about was not only did we have a great time at Champ Camp, but she, when it, in fourth grade writing, her practice, she wrote about that experience um, in her fourth grade classroom this year, so that you can see we are definitely getting carryover from Champ Camp into the academic classroom. <coughs> She's going to read her paper that she wrote. Um, that it was her own choice. She was supposed to choose a, a great adventure, and she chose to write about the day that we floated the river. And there's a picture. These pictures are some of the kids' experiences of that day. I woke up at about 5:15 in the morning. My little sister Lisa said, "Don't go back to sleep, Lydia. You have to put on your swimsuit." I put on my swimsuit and asked, "Why did you give me my swimsuit?" She answered, "Remember," which is her way of saying "remember." She continued, "Remember, you are floating down the Plexi today. When I got on the bus, I sat with my friend Ezekiel. I asked the bus driver if I could switch seats. I got in a seat by myself and fell asleep. Ezekiel woke me up when we got to the school. We ate breakfast. I got oatmeal, and Ezekiel got cereal. Then we went to our class lunch. Everyone had on their swimsuits, just like me." When I saw Liz, I waved at her. She was in the chameleon group. I was in the conservation school. My class got on the bus first. When we got on the river, the teachers gave everyone a float and a life jacket. The water was warm on top but cold on the bottom. Miss Taft, Miss Mix, Miss McKinnon, Miss Muscola, and Miss Smith were in the water. We, float, we had floated for about half an hour. I was talking to Ezekiel when I heard my big sister shout. When I floated up to Victoria, she said, Don't get out of your float. I almost sank. Just then I heard the teachers shout, Don't get out of your float, said Miss Miss Smith. Then I started to float back. I tried to get back to the rest, and I felt a batch. Someone was pushing me. Miss McKinnon, it was Miss McKinnon. She was pushing someone else, too. We had flooded for about two hours. I saw Miss Turner taking pictures of kids. I was next. I was so tired, but I saw kids getting out of the water. It's the end, I shouted. Then I got out of the water and ran to the snacks. When I got home, I told my mom 